Hi there, it's Sam from foodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I've got what I'm calling a baby box. And although this one doesn't particularly look like it's for a baby, when I was actually thinking up and ideas of projects that I wanted to make, I had in I had in my head a neutral coloured box that you could put baby gifts in. So you could put dummies, socks, bibs, all sorts of bits and pieces. But then actually when I was putting it together, I suddenly was inspired to do rich raspberry flowers just because I fancied it. And then I was chatting away on my Facebook page and I'd showed a picture of it and somebody said, oh, but you could put blue flowers on it for a boy. So I'm going to make a variation of this. This is crumb cake that's in the background here. And obviously, as I've said, these are rich raspberry. I'm going to make a slightly different version of it now. Um, and there is a different way to do it. Well, I'm going to be doing my scoring and stamping slightly differently to normal. And I will obviously stop and show you as I go. But your piece of cardstock, 8 by 11 inches, 20 by 28 centimetres. We're only going to do one score line before we stamp then going to come back and do the rest and we need to score on the short side very important the short side not the long side which is what I normally do and score it at one and three quarter inches which is four and a half centimeters so we need to do that bit first and then come along and stamp so basically the bit we've scored is this part here and I want to stamp all the way all the way along the bottom of this part here actually sorry this was so saffron not crumb cake um i want to stamp all the way along here but i don't want crease lines with my stamping so that's why we're going to stamp now and i have got the beautiful dotty angles i love this set i have used it quite a lot um, i love the dots i think they're just fabulous so and it's quite a big stamp so i find that inking the stamp rather than stamping into the ink works well and just run it along this scored line. So there you go. And obviously because it's clear, there you go, look I'm doing it the other way around now. Because it's see-through, it's a photopolymer stamp set, you can see where you're lining it up. So I'm finish there. And then I'm going to stamp off because I want to have some faded ones as well. So this is crumb cake on crumb cake, whereas that one, because I just gave you duff information, Sahara sand on Sahara sand. Okay, so we put that, those bits out of the way and we're going to finish off the scoring now. So I might as well finish off the top, the short side, because I've already scored at one and three quarter inches, four and a half centimetres. <clears throat> and then the second score line is five and three eighths of an inch, which is 13 and a half centimetres. And the last one is at seven and one eighth of an inch. And I find it easier if you flip the cardstock over. So not rotating, flipping it over. Seven and one eighth, which is 18. And that's how you get a neat score line here that hasn't cracked. Come back to the original side. So where you've got your stamping, long side this time round, one and three quarters, which is four and a half. Five and a quarter, which is 13 and a half. 7, which is 18, and 10 and a half, which is 27 centimetres. There we go. I will make sure that everything is on my blog, obviously, as always. So now come along and fold your score line. So ignore this one at the top, which is the wrong way round. Fold all your others. And this one that is the wrong way round. We folded these this way. This one's going to go... The other way. That's how you get the crease that it's not cracked at all. You've just got a perfect line there. Okay. So bits to cut away. So this is the top of our box. This is the bottom. Cut away decent pair of scissors, a longer pair I should say. Cut away this little rectangle, skinny one down here. And then straight up these ones. And this is going to be the box. So this is going to be the front of the box. I want to get, oops, I want to get my linen thread stuck down before I put the box together because once it's stuck you can't get adhesive on it hugely well. So I'm going to grab some fuse 
I'm just going to go in one corner. Um, so I've got a little bit of fuse and I've got my linen thread. I'm just going to grab a length of it. And I've shown this tip before, but this linen thread has got a kink in it where it's wrapped around the um, cardboard that it comes packaged in. So if you just grab your bone fold or even your fingers and just gently run it over the linen thread as though you're curling ribbon, it de-kinks it. And so to create my loops, my poodle loops, you just stick one end down and you create random circles. And I'm just pushing it into the adhesive that's there. There's no particular science to it. Um, that's my loops done. Easy. Okay. So, adhesive down this section here. Use Fuse or Sticky Strip or Tombow. Whatever is your strong adhesive of choice. Fold it over and stick it down. This is our back. So you see the linen threads on the other side. So close those parts in. And there. Some more adhesive on what is the front. And then push these parts in. You could put score lines in if you want to, which is what I did on my original one, but it will work just as well without. There we go. All closed up nicely. Punch a couple of holes. Um, our handheld punches are good and strong, but they won't go through four layers of cardstock. So if you're punching at the ends, you're either going to need to punch a few times or just do what I've done and go in the middle. <laughs> because like, that's just too much easier. So much easier. Because they will go through two pieces of cardstock, they just won't go through four. Grab that. I've got Marina Mist ribbon here. I've got a completely different punch. I haven't got butterflies this time. I've got a different punch. No idea what it's going to look like when it's finished. I hope really rather lovely. But it might not. So let me just... Whoops. Oh, I did grab a clothes bag to hold it closed. I was just going to grab a binder clip or something. Just to keep it closed for a minute while I tie this bow. That might quite possibly turn out to be a knot, knowing me. <laughs> it's an upside down bow. Oh. Why can I not tie a bow? Let's try this again. This is the bunny ears method. Let's see if that works. Slightly better. So when you've tied your really beautiful, attractive bow that's just come undone, trim off the edges. Farcical, isn't it really? There we go. So that binder clip just held it closed for a second. And then come and do your punching. Now, this is Marina Mist. I've got some Marina Mist cardstock over here. It's clear everything out of the And I've chosen to get the bird bill to punch because I fancied a bird rather than butterflies. You know, if it's a, a whole stereotype of boys and girls, it's a debate that you could have as to whether boys should be blue and girls should be pink. It's entirely your choice. Probably going with neutral might be a better idea. But I'm going with the bird builder punch in blue. Marina Mist ink, just to go around the edges. And this, this is so that the wing will be defined. I'm not going to use the branch. But obviously I want to put my wing over the top and I want it to be obvious that it's a separate piece. the house phone. <laughs> Turned it off. I'm getting lots of spam calls at the moment. It's driving me insane. Okay, so there's my wing that goes in that direction. So I'm going to put a glue dot on the back and just sort of lift it up very slightly. Pop my wing there. So it's just giving it a tiny little bit of elevation. I've got my mini glue dots over here and I'm going to have one. No, I haven't got mini glue dots at all. I've got pearls. There we go, over the top. 
and I'm going to put some more mini glue dots on the back because I'm going to apparently stick them to my fingers and that's going to go over there that's my little box for a boy what do you think? I think it's quite cute good idea putting the blue on to make it for a boy anyway I hope to speak to you soon bye